Most people trying to run a faceless YouTube channel waste hours every day recording, editing, and uploading content. I spent a decade on big brand marketing teams at Apple, PlayStation, Nissan, and now I run an AI agency serving multi-billion dollar clients. You could manually script videos, hire voice actors, and edit footage, but that is slow and expensive. The real secret is a system that pulls news from multiple sources and turns those into videos without you. I'm going to show you the exact automation that scrapes multiple news sources right Write scripts with AI, creates AI generated images and videos all while you sleep. You'll post daily without ever touching a camera. No editing, no time spent, just consistent uploads that builds your channel automatically. Stick around because at the end, I'll show you how to hook this up so you can publish to every single social media channel completely on autopilot. If you want to get access to the workflow we build today, just check the link in the description to join hundreds of others who are learning to build and sell AI automations just like you. If you want to learn how to build this for yourself, just keep watching. This is Dylan Page, and he's amassed 18 million followers just by talking about current events and breaking news. He's getting millions or tens of millions of views on pretty much every single one of his videos. So I wanted to see if we could build an AI automation to basically replicate new style videos completely on autopilot. This is the system. This is what it makes. Let me play this video for you, and then I'm going to walk you through it step by step. And yes, as a surprise, I gave myself an ultra sexy voice. Hold up. These headlines are wild. And you you need to hear this. Let's go. Suno's being sued over AI training data, but VCs, they're still pouring in money. Kind of says everything about AI. So you get the idea. This basically goes on for another minute. You can make the script as long as you want. Let me walk you through the system today and show you exactly how it works. We're using a combination of things. I'm going to walk you through it at a high level. We're using Airtable as our database to basically just configure the user persona or me with an image of me and the voice we want to use. We're using RSS feeds to basically scrape the latest news and current events. We're using AI to write a script for us. In this case, we're just using GPT-4 because I actually really like the way it writes. And then we're creating an image of that news anchor, a voiceover using 11 labs, and then we're stitching it all together using a service called Infinite Talk, which is kind of what I showed you here. This allows you to take the audio that's generated from 11 labs and the image and the script and stitch it all together in a single video. And then at the end, we're just saving this back inside of Google Drive. And even at the end as a bonus, I'll just show you really quickly how you could set this up to automatically post every single video that you create. So you literally never have to touch this workflow again. So the first thing that we're doing here is we've just set a schedule trigger to kick this off every single morning. If you're new to N8N, basically you just click the plus and you can type in schedule to set the schedule trigger. And if we open this up, you can see we've just set this to run at 7 a.m. every single morning. So we get a brand new video based off of every day's current events. The next thing we're doing is we're just going to our Airtable database to basically grab the information about me. It's really simple to set up. Let me just show you what this looks like. It's really basic. All we're doing is basically setting the mood, kind of like how do we want to talk? Like do we want to be opinionated and passionate or do we want to be comedic and critical wait basically what's the tone of voice we want to strike you can set this for you however you want setting the gender and then uploading a photo of ourself i just created this ai version of me that i'm used that's what you saw in the video at the beginning so just a couple of key details and then the voice the voice is super important before i go through the rest of the flow let me just show you how to set this up because you really only have to do this once we're just using 11 labs 11 labs is one of the best places to go for ai voice generation you can even clone your own voice, which is really, really cool. They literally have like hundreds of voices to choose from. Like if you go to explore here, you could see like the trending voices, like people upload their own. There's so many to choose from. So you can basically just go through here and select whatever ones you want. You also have the ability to create or clone your own voice. So if you click this, you can just go ahead and upload like a two minute clip of you talking, or you can actually talk directly into 11 labs. And all you want to do is once that's done is you would just come here and click copy voice ID. And then you're just going to go back into your database and paste that voice ID right in here. And so now we basically know what type of voice we want to use for the system. And that's really all you need to set up inside of Airtable. You only need to do this once and it can just pull from this record every single time. And all we're doing is just copying this record ID over here and pasting that in here to basically make sure that we're pulling from my avatar every single time. So that's how to set up the database at a high level. Next, we're using a series of RSS feeds and RSS feeds are really great. If you come into rsfs.app and basically 
you can just go ahead and you can check on like all sorts of feed. You can create your own feed by pasting in any website address, or we can kind of come in and like have this set one up for us using like Google News, right? And you can see here, that this is just going to be just like an aggregate field of all the top headlines from the day. And again, you can build your own or you can use one that they have. And all you want to do is you just click save feed once it's been set and you just need the feed URL at the top. And you're just going to go ahead and copy that and you go ahead and type in RSS feed or RSS read here and then just paste in the URL from the feed that you want to get the information from. And so now we're just pulling in all of these different articles. We're using Reuters and TechCrunch and CNN and TMZ just to get all of the latest stories and we're pulling those all in. So if we go into this TechCrunch feed here, you can see we basically have the author of the article, the title of the article, a direct link, a little content snippet and what the actual content is. And so we're just taking all of this information to gather all of these new sources. You can zoom in here. We grabbed 119 of these items. We're now filtering them out just to get ones that happen in the last 24 hours, just to make sure that we're getting the most relevant news. From there, we're just pulling this together using an aggregate node. So we can just grab this field that's called content. And all we're doing is dragging content in here. And this is the output. You can see that we're just pulling in all of the headlines or all of the key stories from every single one of the articles published in the last 24 hours. So once we have all of these sources, the next thing we need to do is we just need to write a script. And this is really up to you. You can customize this however you like. It's all based off of prompting. So however you want to prompt this to get the style of video you create this is really up to you. I just said you are a UGC style news anchor. Your task is to take the most compelling headlines and turn them into a script for a 60 second video. Start with a strong hook, deliver the main news in a conversational tone, provide a sentence or two of detail and a sentence describing what this impact will have on my audience. Then we just have a few more details about how we want to write the script, the tone of voice to use, some audio tag guidelines to basically dictate to Eleven Labs when it's creating the voiceover. Like how do we want to be? Do we want it to be, you know, emotional? Do we want to whisper lines? Do we want to laugh, right? And then if there are any sound effects. And then we also are creating an image prompt to basically describe the anchor or in our case, like me, and then the setting that they're in. So a home YouTube studio, which is that image you saw. And then a very specific format of the hook, the mood, the script text, and all of these things so that we can pass these on to the rest of the models. And you can see here, this is a lot of information that's getting passed on, but it all goes down the chain. So now what we can do is we can actually route this out in two separate directions. This top route is really just generating the image for us to make sure that we have the proper image. And then this bottom one here is generating the actual voiceover. So I actually uploaded into the system, like a pretty good image of me in a YouTube studio, but this would go ahead and it would actually change the image for you. And so here we're just calling a service called Kai AI. And this is Kai AI. It's a really great place to go for all the latest AI image and video models. And what we're basically doing here is we're using our API request to essentially mimic this interface, right? So we're going to give it a prompt. We're going to give it the output format and then the image size in our case is going to be 916 vertical. So that's great for social media. So we're calling Kai AI here and then we're just passing along this information, right? So we're passing along the prompt, right? So edit the existing close-up photo, keep the person completely unchanged, but modify the YouTube studio background to enhance the mood throughout the lighting and color grading and all of these things just to create a nice studio element. So again, if you don't have an image of you in like a YouTube studio, this will create it for you. And then we're just feeding it the image URL coming from our Airtable database. So if we come down here, basically we're just going to go ahead and grab the URL from the user photo, this here, and we're just going to bring this in here so that Nano Banana has access to our image so it knows what we look like. And then you can see that we're using a similar trick on both the top and bottom route. Basically, we're just waiting for the image to be finished. We're just waiting 10 seconds. We're checking to see if the image is done. If it is done, we're just going to pass it on through the flow. If it's not done, we'll loop back around. We'll wait for another 10 seconds and then we'll check again. And this just repeats until the image is ready for us. On the bottom here, we're using a slightly different service. It operates in a very similar way. Instead of Kai AI, we're using a site called WaveSpeed. And this is WaveSpeed AI. It's similar. It just has some different models that we want to use. Like Eleven Labs is great through here. And then this model here, Infinite Talk, which is really cool. You can see here, we can take an audio clip, we can take an image and we can take a prompt or like a full script and just kind of like include all of this together. So basically like voice matches, right? It'll lip sync our image with the actual audio track. So it's super, super powerful. It's not crazy cheap, I will say. You can see here that it costs about 30 cents for every five seconds. So the video that I showed you here is like a minute and 20 seconds. And I think this cost me, you can see here, this cost me $2.40. So it's really up to you if this type of service is gonna be worth it for you. Like $2.40 might seem like a lot for a two minute video or a one minute video. But again, if you're racking up millions of views over time, maybe it ends up being worth it for you. So on the bottom here, we're just generating the voiceover. We're calling 11 labs through the WaveSpeed API. We're setting some parameters like stability and similarity 
similarity and the text. And basically this part is the most important where we're actually just piping in our script from the AI script writer here, right? We're just taking the text. If I come down here and we see if I can find it, you can just go ahead and grab the text script, which is down here. We can just go ahead and grab this and bring this in. And now we have a whole script ready to go to create our voiceover. And then here we're bringing in the voice ID that's coming from our Airtable database. Again, this is the voice ID for 11 labs. So that way it knows exactly what we sound like, which is very, very cool. Same thing. We're checking to see if it's done. If it's not done, we're waiting a few more seconds. If it is done, we're passing it along. We're merging it all together. And then we're calling that infinite talk API that I showed you. And so now what's cool is we can basically just pass in the key values, right? So we have our audio URL, which is saved here. We have the actual image, which is coming from here, which was generated by Nano Banana, and then the prompt, right? And we're bringing in the mood and then the script just so it understands basically what it is that we're talking about. So this is the prompt for infinite talk to generate our full length video. There's a few other parameters like resolution 480p is going to be cheaper than 720p and the seed honestly doesn't really matter. So you can just kind of leave it as the default, which is negative one. From there, you will probably recognize this pattern at this point. We're waiting for it to be done right now. This is set to 15 seconds. Honestly, it takes a little bit longer. I think my video that was like a little over a minute probably took about 10 minutes to render completely. So we can change this to three minutes or, or five minutes. And so we we're checking less frequently. Honestly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't cost you anything to actually check to see if the video is done. I just think having this say 34 items is messy. So just a personal preference. And then here, the way these if nodes kind of work, so we're using an if node and we're just going down to status. We go here, the status is equal to completed, right? You can see here that since this video finished, it says completed. If it isn't completed, I believe it says generating. And so if it says generating, it's going to say, no, this isn't complete. We're going to wait and check again. If it says completed, we're going to know it's true. We're going to pass this on to an HTTP node, just using the get method, just using our URL here from these outputs. And it's going to download the video for us in this binary format, which then we can take to upload to our Google Drive. And so once this is done, you'll just have a video in Google Drive all ready to go for you. So this is essentially how the system works. If you want to get access to the system like this, check the link in the description. You can join hundreds of other people who are learning to build and sell AI automations, and you get to chat with me. The last thing I want to show you is how you can set this up to publish automatically. We're going to use a service called Blotato. It's like the best service around for posting your content to multiple platforms. And basically, if you search Blotato, they have a great built-in node. The first thing you want to do is actually want to do this off the get request here is I'm just going to search for Blotato and we're going to do upload media. And now you can see that we have the resource is media. It's coming from here. And all we need to do is say use binary data. And this says data, which matches here. If we go ahead and click execute step, you can see this is actually uploading everything to the Blotato servers. So we have publicly available video files. If you want to create a Blotato account, I'll leave a link in the description where you can do so. My favorite API to use for this type of content, you're just going to go connect your account. Let me go ahead and show you how easy this is. If we come into your settings, you can just log in with all of your social media accounts, which is really incredible. And then you actually don't need to do anything else from there. All you need to do is go to the API, which is up here and go ahead and copy your API key and then paste this in over here inside of N8N. You're basically just going to go ahead and click create new credential, paste in your API key here. And that's how easy it is to set up. You can now post to every single platform. So off of this, you can go ahead and type in Blotato again. You can go ahead and say create post. And now you can basically choose from any one of these platforms that you've connected to. If you want to post to Instagram, great. You can write in the text here. You could have AI generate a caption for your video. If you want to publish to multiple channels, just go ahead, connect the Blotato node again. You can go ahead and say create post, right? You can change this one to LinkedIn. And now you can publish to every single platform all instantly. If you thought this video was cool, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see how I make UGC ads completely on autopilot, check out this video right here.